Hello and welcome to our G, uh, our Google Calendar tutorial. This tutorial is going to be on um, setting default event reminders uh, for your calendar so that you can make sure to attend your events with those important reminders. And so um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and start here in the settings to take a look at um, my event reminders. Now uh, event reminders are established per calendar so you can see right here I have two calendars and so I'm going to click on the calendar that I want this calendar right now is called trainer one and so I'm gonna scroll down to or click over here event notifications either way and so you can see by default my event notifications I get a notification um, 10 minutes before um, I'm gonna go ahead and add a notification and I can add this notification for example um, if I want it, uh, usually like a, I don't want it just 10 minutes before, like I want to know, you know, a few hours before to make sure. And so maybe I want to know, you know, two hours before the event, um, to get that notification. I can also go ahead and change that to email. So I would get an email, for example, um, two hours ahead. So I have two notifications set up by default for this calendar. Um, you can see one notification that I'll get 10 minutes before the event, a notification pop-up, which usually will pop up like on my computer on the right-hand corner. The other notification I have um, uh, by default is an email, which I'll get two hours ahead. I can even set more notifications as well. I can also set um, event notifications for all-day events. And so, for example, um, if it's an all-day event, my default notification for this is one day before at 9 a.m. Maybe I will start my work at A at eight. Um, maybe I also want um, a notification. Um, I want it zero days. I'm in fact zero days before and I want it that morning at eight. So basically I'll get the notification one day before and on the day of in the morning. Maybe this one I want a little earlier at 7.30 to make sure I'm there on time. If you were watching at the bottom, anytime I made a change, a pop-up came. Um, that said basically it had been saved. So if I look at the bottom, look, see it popped up, it said it's been saved. All right, so now I went ahead and saved this. Let's go back to settings here. And let's go ahead and create an event right here. And I wanna go here to uh, more options. More options, because I wanna take a look. Now you can see right here on the, uh, first of all, it's asking me if it wanted to show notifications. I'm gonna click allow so I can get those pop-ups. Um, you may miss it outside the recording window, but I just got to pop up that sound in the in the right hand corner. You can see that my default notifications um, are already right here. If I change it to all day again, you can see my default notifications for all day. And basically those are notifications for me um, to let me know about my events. And so I think that's really helpful rather than having to add those notifications to individual uh, events to go ahead and do those to the calendar. Now, um, one thing to keep in mind is that is only set per calendar. You can uh, change event notifications per each calendar. You can't do that for all the calendars. So hopefully that will um, help you with your event notifications and making sure you're on events um, at the time you're supposed to be. Thanks for watching, bye-bye.